Hi, this is Mark with MyWhistleAndFlute.com, and I uh, I make these um, PVC uh, flutes. This is a, a low D. This is actually my personal uh, low D whistle, but I make ones just like this uh, for sale on our site. Playing a transverse flute can be uh, really can be a little bit complicated at first. A lot of people struggle with the embouchure to begin with, and that can lead to a lot of um, overblowing or using more air than is necessary. So I thought I'd put up this short video just to give you an idea and show you kind of how to learn how to blow on one of these uh, flutes, whether it's one of mine or another one that you may have. Uh, learning to blow on properly can not only in, um, improve the sound, but it can certainly save you from being dizzy and uh, be a much more enjoyable experience. So an embouchure has one side that the air hits and, and splits. Now, depending upon how the uh, hits and splits, depending upon the, the steepness of the ramp that is uh, designed into the embouchure, it can affect whether it's a breathy sound or a clearer, uh, sweeter sound, which is, which is my personal preference and it's what I shoot for in my flutes. But essentially, um, the, your lower lip will rest just on the edge, the uh, lip edge of the embouchure. So, um, some people have talked about, you know, a loose, a loose grin and spitting watermelon seeds, and I, I find that to be good. Um, but one of the things that I find to be the most helpful is to make sure that your lower lip stays relaxed, even when you have a very, you know, uh, a very small opening. You want to make sure that your lower lip is relaxed. So I place the flute uh, up to my lip, and my lower lip is relaxed, and I just put my the tip of my tongue just behind my uh, teeth and lips just to so that when I start to blow there's a there's a stream a jet that comes out um, uh, to get that initial sound which which is what I'm shooting for so just a soft soft breath is all that's necessary um, when I first started playing uh, it would it would sound a lot like this Just, just trying to get a sound. And when you first start playing, that's how it'll sound too. If you've never blown on a transverse flute before, you've never played a flute like this, then that's how it'll sound. After a while, you'll find the, the right place. One of the things that you can do is stand in front of a mirror, hold the flute up in front of your lip, and a, 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 a thin line, not a, not a pucker, but a thin line, and roll the flute back and forth until you get a good sound. Now, what you, one of the things that you'll that you'll notice as you're playing on these flutes is you can actually affect the notes sharp or flat by the position position of the embouchure. So sometimes you say, "Well, the flute is flat." Well, maybe it is, or maybe it's the position of both your your lip, the formation of your embouchure, and the position of the breath going across uh, the the um, the ridge. So again, just a light a light blowing. Almost not even enough to blow out a candle will eventually give you a, a nice, clear sound. So again, playing softly, it doesn't need to be very loud. So to, uh, again, to sum up, nice relaxed lower lip, you need to make sure that the opening um, for the air is directly in front of the embouchure. If you get off one side or another, it's gonna affect the sound. You wanna be right in front. And at first it's gonna take a lot of, a lot of practice just to get it in the right position. After a while, it won't take long at all. So that's
that's the idea. So relax lower lip directly in front of the embouchure hole, just a thin opening and simple, slow breath until you get the sounds you want. If you have to blow harder to start with, blow harder to start with. But after a while, um, you'll, you'll get the sound you're looking for and then you start all the way at the bottom with the lowest note all closed and work your way up. Don't be frustrated if you can't get into the second octave to begin with. I'll put up another video after, um, well, in, in another time to deal with the second octave and some of those uh, some of those problems. So for now, just enjoy playing your flute. If you're interested in one of our flutes, go to mywhistleandflute.com and check us out there and I'll be glad to help you to get you one of these flutes into your hands or just to increase your success rate and maybe if you already have one of your own flutes already but just having trouble learning how to play it. All right, this is Mark again, mywhistleandflute.com. Hope to see you around our site sometime in the future. Thanks.